What's going on, everyone? It's Brain with Code. You find jewelry, your personal jeweler. Subscribers been asking, what's my everyday pieces? What's my jewelry collection looking like? So I want to take the time to show you a little bit of my pieces and talk about everyday wear. Let's get started. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Jacoji Fine Jewelry. Visit my website www.jacoji.com and smash that like button. Smash, 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 smash. I'll be really honest with you guys. Come Monday through Friday, I don't wear a whole lot of jewelry. Right now, my favorite piece that I love is my own Jacoji logo piece. There's one reason, obviously, because it's my logo and I'm very proud and it motivates me every time I look down and see this logo in gold to keep grinding hard. And the other thing is, it's pretty light and weight, the, Fr the Franco included. It's not a heavy piece that's swinging around when you're going doing things, you don't really notice it. So that's a huge thing for me, is a nice light pendant. There's no diamonds in it, so I don't have to worry really too much about it. If it gets really scratched, which it hasn't, and I don't think it will, simply just polish it up. So this is more of a heavy duty everyday chain that I love to wear all the time I'm wearing it. I take it off when I sleep. But other than that, I just throw it on. It's a 24 inch length, which slips right over my head, which is clutch for me. Anything a 22 inch will not go over my head. So 24 inch and above will slip over the head. So that is a good thing. Not that it's hard to unclasp and clasp around the neck, but knowing me, Every step, extra step, is one too many step in my opinion. So I love this, and this right now is what I do, but there's also pendants, and I, I might filter this out. I'll go a month wearing this and then put it away and wear another pendant. I'll show you the different stuff that I have. But other than that, Monday through Friday, I just wear simple stuff, maybe to chain it. And then the weekends, if I'm doing something, I'll put some more jewelry on. But most of the times, I'm usually so tired, I just want to relax. But the good thing and the thing I love the most is the everyday chains. And these are my five and a half millimeter flat curves. I get a lot of question on these. I never take these off. So I feel like these overall and what I really recommend is investing in a nice everyday chain that you don't have to worry about. Like I don't have to worry about these. I tuck them in most of the time or I leave them out. And then um, that's just how I wear it. That's my way of showing jewelry and having the gold around my neck as opposed to a pendant or a longer chain that... Sometimes I feel obligated just to take it off and I don't really want to wear it. So let's look at my everyday pieces. Now these are pieces that I keep in my drawer just around all the time. I switched all the chains out so I don't keep all the chains on. Depending on what length and how I want to match them, I got the angel wing. I got my uh, Jacoji diamond medallion which really I wear maybe once a week. Um, and I love that piece of course. Praying hands, I got my pinky ring, black and white diamonds, the gold. Uh, flat ring that's on the website praying hands this green buddha if anyone wants that just make me an offer gold 14 karat gold diamonds um i'd like to get rid of that piece it's not on the website i'm not going to make another one and then i got the pants which i love this 10 gram with the white diamonds really rivals this one most of the time i end up just going with this because i love that rich 24 karat gold i can't say enough about the pants i wish i could put every single size and diamond color and gemstone color on my website because i back those 100 percent i got my custom alien heads i usually two chain i'll go like a 20 or 22 inch with the yellow diamond yellow head and then i'll go longer 24 26 with the black diamond eyes white gold alien head got a small this isn't the big cross on the website this is a smaller diamond cross um the 3.5 millimeter rope chain 22 inches i got a big 10 millimeter uh, Miami Cuban link bracelet. I have the four millimeter rope and then the four millimeter Miami Cuban bracelet. Just simple things. Most of the time I'll put there on the smaller uh, bracelets during the week just to have some gold around my wrist. And then when I'm feeling good, I'll put the 10 millimeter Miami Cuban link bracelet, which every single time I wear it, people are staring, people give me compliments. It just strikes up the conversation of uh, I'm a jeweler, I have a jewelry business. And then it, it always gets brought up when you're wearing gold, People will usually, you'll see if you're wearing it around your neck, they'll be looking at you and then, you know, asking about your pieces. So it, it's kind of cool, but sometimes when you're not in the mood to really talk about it, it can get annoying, but it's cool. So these are kind of my everyday setup pieces. Now I got to show you guys the double chain look with the pants. This is the two and a half gram and the 10 gram diamond pant, 22 inch length, 24 inch length. You could go with the 26 or a 20-24 to give it a little bit more spacing if you want it like right here. 
Um, it just depends the look. Sometimes I like the overlapping look, but it's very acceptable to go with something like that. Just check that out. That's money right there. That's the perfect two chain look. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of my own personal jewelry collections. Uh, these are just simple pieces that I like to wear. I'm always looking to add different things to my collection. And if I kind of get tired of something, I'll sell it. But most of the times I keep it. Um, and I always recommend when we're talking pendants, go with something that you really like. But I would say go with an everyday chain first and then build your chains or your pendants around that. Uh, the 22, 24 inch for everyday is perfect because you can layer it that way. But go with the everyday chain first because that's what I did. I'm just going off of kind of what I did and what I was happy with, the everyday chain, and then add the pendants later. Thank you for watching, and we will see you on our next jewelry video.